मेघालय सरकार के खेल और युवा मामले विभाग ने भारतीय सशस्त्र बलों की पूर्वी कमान के सहयोग से प्रतिष्ठित तीन ट्रॉफियों अर्थात डूरन कप ट्रॉफी और शिमला ट्रॉफी दोनों रोलिंग ट्रॉफी की भव्य प्रतीक्षित अनावरण कार्यक्रम आयोजित किया और प्रेसिडेंट कप को शहर के भव्य दौरे पर ले जाया गया भव्य समारोह 21 जुलाई 2030 को राज्य कन्वेंशन सेंटर शिलोंग में आयोजित किया गया था अनावरण के बाद शिलोंग के खिंडाई लात में एक आकर्षक रोड शो और ट्रॉफी प्रदर्शन हुआ ये कार्यक्रम मेघालय के माननीय मुख्यमंत्री कॉनरेड के संगमा डी पी वालांग आई मुख्य सचिव मेघालय सरकार लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल संजय मलिक एयर मार्शल तेजेंद्र सिंह और दोनों पक्षों की अन्य गणमान्य व्यक्तियों की सम्मानित उपस्थिति में आयोजित किया गया था इस वर्ष अपनी एक सौ संस्करण मनाते हुए दोरन कप को एशिया की सबसे पुरानी फुटबॉल टूर्नामेंट और दुनिया की तीसरी सबसे पुरानी फुटबॉल टूर्नामेंट होने का गर्व प्राप्त है ये टूर्नामेंट तीन अगस्त से तीन सेप्टेम्बर दो तक होने वाले जैसे देश की विभिन्न क्षेत्रों की चौबीस टीम शामिल होंगी जिसमें सभी 12 इंडियन सुपर लिंक टीम के साथ साथ पड़ोसी देश बांग्लादेश और नेपाल की विदेशी टीम भी शामिल होंगी ये आयोजन फुटबॉल की विरासत और खेल भावनाओं की सच्चे भावनाओं को एक असाधारण उत्सव होने का वादा करता है फुटबॉल प्रेमी समर्पित प्रशंसक इस महत्वपूर्ण अवसर पर उपस्थित हुए इसके अलावा ये भी घोषणा की गई कि शिलोंग डोरन कप 2024 संस्करण की मेजबान शहरों में से एक होगा and all football enthusiasts who have come here to be part of this very very important program i first of all would like to thank general sanjay malik ji for having agreed to have this program here today to number 1 unveil the different trophies under the red cup and also to announce that meghalaya will be one of the host states for the 2024 tournament <laughs> meghalaya has always had a very very strong connection with sports and specific and specifically with soccer and uh, it is quite evident from the fact that many footballers playing at national level have come out of our state and also from the different teams that have performed exceptionally well at the national level in different tournaments that have been held in different parts of the country recently the meghalaya team has also made it to the finals of the santosh trophy which was a very very big step and uh, another uh, testimony of the kind of talent that our state has and the potential that it can have in the coming years for us as a state we have realized that the kind of talent and the kind of passion i should say that our youngsters have for different sports and different disciplines needs to be supported in the correct manner we have seen that in the past many sports enthusiasts different associations different clubs have been able to perform in different disciplines based on the passion and the kind of hard work that they put in at their own level and we have seen that uh, the kind of support that should be given to these different organizations and especially to the sports person 
was in a way not adequate. And hence in the last five years, tremendous amount of energy, a lot of financial support and different activities have been held in order to ensure that sports is given priority in our state. We believe that the young generation is a ball of energy. We believe that if this ball of energy is not allowed to be nurtured properly, then it will be a destructive force. But if it is nurtured properly, it will be a constructive force. Hence, it is the government's duty, association's responsibilities, the duty of the society at large to nurture these young people that we have, to make sure we channelize their energy in the right manner, to make them productive, to make them positive in their thinking, create the right attitude in their minds, bring in a matter of discipline and realize that hard work is important, bring in a, the patriotism that is required and the love for their nation. And I think sports is a, it is a wonderful way to be able to achieve all these objectives. And if sports is not a part or an active part of our youngsters' lives, then we will be missing out on a very, very large section of their character building, of their energy direction, and of the opportunities that are available uh, as, an, uh, you know, as a source of uh, job creation also in the long run. And hence, realizing all these factors, the government of Meghalaya has always supported sports activities, especially in the last five years. Whether it's having the Meghalaya Games, which was not held for the last 17 years, we held it twice in spite of having COVID. We held it twice in the last five years. And we will be having it every year henceforth. We hosted the Meghalaya Olympics, the Northeast Olympics, excuse me, the Northeast Olympics, which was a huge task. But I'm happy to say that we did it in a very, very professional manner. And uh, most of the athletes who participated have given a testimony, have testified that it was one of the best games that they've attended. Be it different uh, international and national level tournaments. Recently we had the table tennis, national table tennis championship out here. And hence, we are always ensuring that as many activities as many events, as many championships can happen, it is a right way to bring in the interest and allow our youngsters to show their talent, to work towards winning and to work towards improving their overall skills. And hence we support and would always want more and more such tournaments to come in. And I'm thankful uh, to General Sanjay Malik and the armed forces for having